but these three courses have grandchildren great grandchildren and all that like it will be something like three but in the course there are more than three courses than you can imagine hi guys welcome back to another video it's your girl dera a nigerian based youtuber and also a 200 level medical student in nigeria precisely at abia state university so guys in today's video i'm going to give you all like a breakdown of nigeria medical school specifically in abia state where i school okay they break down 100 level 200 level and 200 level so it's just going to be from 100 level to 200 level because i'm basically in 300 levels so i'm just going to be telling you what i basically know on how the um the system runs and all okay so please subscribe if you haven't give this video a huge thumbs up and with that you're helping the algorithm of this video and this video is also to persons who might be aspiring to come to abia state university or who are aspiring to study medicine in nigeria okay now back to today's video medicine is something or a profession that is being practiced in nigeria and in medical school you just have it goes with the duration of six years okay basically you're studying medicine for six years in nigeria but you know nigerian system of education and all there might be strike there might be protests there might be you know hospital strike student strike also strike which is the greatest fear of students okay and this might elongate the duration of studying medicine to like seven years eight years nine years and some persons won't study this for 10 years it is not their fault it's not like it's something on their that control so yeah so in medicine you're definitely going to go through the six levels before you're given the license to be able to practice so 100 level is basically like other department and other levels there is no particular class for 100 level medical student okay it's more like you're going to be having lessons lectures with other with other students of other departments and basically the same place and you're going to be learning the basic things you probably learned in secondary school math english physics chemistry biology okay and some broad courses or let's say literature because in my own hundred level we borrowed this literature called peace and conflict resolution we also had this entrepreneurship um test book and we are given the opportunity to go for practicals where we could learn baking shoe making bag making hair barbing and so what not so 100 level is basically like a foundation where your knowledge is going to be tested on the basic courses you require for medical school okay especially your biology physics and chemistry yes you really need to be good at it and you should be serious for you to be able to get good grades in those three courses okay and in all that you do you have to make sure that you, you don't get any carry over in all your courses in 100 level so therefore you need to be very serious in your 100 level but in my school here you failing any of your courses probably getting an f or d in your course does not mean that you have to repeat year one or does not mean that you have to change course definitely you're going to move to 200 level but you're going to carry that course over to the next class and you're still going to write it with the class below you okay just to make sure that you pass that course so moving over to 200 level yeah in my school we basically do three courses but these three courses have grandchildren great grandchildren and all that like it will be something like three but in the course there are more than three courses than you can imagine so these three courses are basically anatomy physiology and biochemistry in abia state university we call our biochemistry this year but also in other schools i think they call that um, biochemistry different name because i know in unizik their biochemistry is called bch and it means biochemistry also okay so 200 level you just do these three courses and anatomy physiology biochemistry and they have their different classes divisions <laughs> and all what's not okay then this exam also we write in our school is called the pre mbbs exam okay now this exam does not really have any cutoff mark any set cutoff mark of whatsoever but the number of people that pass this exam is dependent on the general percentage of people that did very well in that exam okay so basically you're just going to be aiming to do very well in that exam getting a very high score so no matter the number of people that did very well in that exam you're still going to fall among the range of people that are going to be choosing <laughs> something like that okay now if when the result comes out and unfortunately you're not among those that pass the cutoff mark or 
among those that are moving to the next level you're definitely going to step down to the previous class that is joining the class below you okay so while your mates might move over to 300 level you might have to repeat the 200 level okay now this um exam i don't i don't really call it failure but then from the outside view people might see it as failure because that's what it means she's not passed her exam so that is failure but i don't really think it's failure because like you did very well but then the school already has a number of people they be, they might be wanting to take for that particular class okay but the annoying thing is just that if you're not if you're not taken you have to join the previous class and that is you adding more one year to your six years of studying medicine so you really have to be more serious more like reading your books every now and then just trying your best to make sure that you're able to recall everything you're reading and everything you're being taught so in the exam hall no matter how the question might be you'll be able to you know scale through okay so moving up to the next level is our 300 level and basically we also have three same courses anatomy about chemistry and um, physiology okay so at this level is when you'll be able to write your first mbbs professional exam that will also guarantee if you'll be able to move to the next class which is 400 level but one special thing about this exam is that it has a cutoff mark which is 50 so basically whatever you want to do whatever you want to write whatever you want to read anyhow you want to do it you just have to pass that 50 cut off mark and boom you're in the next class okay and you're moving with your mates before the set date for the first mbbs professional exam there are a series of tests that you have to write okay like in Abbasia abia state university we have the head and neck test abdomen test upper limb and thorax test okay same with our physiology it is divided into three tests we have first physiology test second and third physiology test okay our biochemistry test is just one then after all this you'll be ready for your first mpbs professional exam okay and currently now now that is what i'm writing the first mbbs professional exam and right now we are rounding up we're already done with all our practicals um theory and objective papers so right now what we're waiting for is our viva so what is viva viva is like an oral exam where you have to meet your lecturers facing them one-on-one -on -one, and then they're going to be asking you questions on how you know different things maybe practical aspects or what have you but basically what you've been taught in class okay so this is all the breakdown of the medical system of education at abia state university from 100 level to 300 level okay i'm stopping at 300 level because yeah this is the level i'm at so i might not really know much from 400 level to 600 level until i get there okay so i hope this video helps someone out there helps people that are aspiring to come to abia state university to study medicine and tells them what they should expect and helps them to know what they should expect and just be prepared for this whole journey okay it's a tough one and a long one but definitely you're going to push you okay because you are worth it and you're able to do all you want to do okay i hope you all watching this video find this video educative please share to your loved ones your friends who might be wanting to come into the medical system or wanting to come to abia state university to study medicine and i'm sure this video is going to be helpful to them so please click the red subscribe button if you haven't make sure you do give this video a huge thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video drop your comments below on what to feel if in other schools and tell us how they system of education in medicine is in your school from 100 level to 200 level okay and i'll be glad to read all those bye